Having students with disabilities in classes has focused our faculty on seeing the true diversity of the learning experience and the true diversity of the student body. I could go to college, I can go and have gun, have a gun. Millersville and Temple Universities and hundreds of other colleges are opening doors to students with intellectual disability. Now students are leading this inclusion revolution. I told my sister I wanted to come to college, and she was like, really? I was like, yeah, I think I can do it. He's like us, we don't want to get into stuff like that. I look at high school and I felt like kind of undereducated, like I could have done so much more. We've been segregating people a long time, and it has not worked. Missy has, in her time here so far, developed a great deal in her self-advocacy. I can't call. Once we get a place of commonality, we start seeing each other as the same and not necessarily those people. Mom, if you're watching this, I want to make you proud of me. Students with disabilities are part of our citizenry, so we have that moral imperative to educate them. I'm happy to be kind of, I got that more independent. Someday I would do and get married and have a family of my own. People with intellectual disability who have not attended an inclusive post-secondary ed initiative are employed at the rate of 17%. Students who have graduated from our initiative are employed at the rate of 85%. Everyone needs an opportunity to participate. We need to open doors instead of close doors. Opening Doors to College, a film by Dan Habib. Watch the film at openingdoorstocollege.org.